I found it very strange that Mohammed had such a fear or hatred of dogs. Do you have any explanation? Although over 200 verses in the Quran deal with animals, and six surahs, chapters of the Quran, are named after animals, animal life is not a predominant theme in the Quran, as they are usually perceived in relation to humans. The majority of both Sunni and Shia Muslim jurists consider dogs to be ritually unclean, though jurists from the Sunni Maliki school disagree. According to Sunni tradition, Muhammad didn't like dogs and most practicing Muhammadans do not have dogs as pets. It is said that angels do not enter a house which contains a dog. Though dogs are not allowed for pets, they are allowed to be kept if used for work, such as guarding your house or farm, or when used for hunting purposes. According to several hadiths, Muhammad considered black dogs as evil or even devils in animal form. In both Sunni and Shia accounts, Muhammad is said to have conversed nonchalantly with camels, birds, and other species of animals. Of course, these miraculous conversations are not mentioned in the Quran because in reality they were concocted over a period of 300 years after his death to give Muhammad the same supernatural qualities as King Solomon, who talked to animals as mentioned in the Quran, Surat and Naml 28.18. Muhammad's hatred of dogs in general and black ones in particular may be attributed to a nasty encounter or experience during his childhood. Otherwise, why would an alleged shepherd boy have a morbid fear or dislike of them when they are the best animals to herd, control and defend them? Besides the horse, the dog is the friendliest and most loving and most loyal animal to man. Sahih Muslim Hadith 551 narrated by Abdullah ibn Mughaffal. The Messenger of Allah ordered killing of the dogs and then said, What about them? i.e. about other dogs. But then granted concession to keep the dog for hunting and the dog for the security of the herd and said, When the dog licks the utensil, wash it seven times and rub it with earth the eighth time. Sahih Muslim 1032 narrated by Abu Dhar. The Messenger of Allah said, When any one of you stands for prayer, his prayer would be cut off by passing of an ass, a woman, or a black dog. I said, O oh Abu Dhar, what feature is there in a black dog which distinguishes it from the red dog and the yellow dog? He said, O oh son of my brother, I asked the messenger of Allah as you are asking me, and he said, the black dog is a devil. The greatest and most intelligent of all prophets recognize the devil in black dogs. It takes a Satan to recognize another Satan. Sahih Muslim 3814 narrated by Abdullah ibn Mughaffal. Allah Messenger ordered the killing of dogs and then said, What is the trouble with them, the people of Medina? How dogs are nuisance to them, the citizens of Medina? He then permitted keeping of dogs for hunting and the protection of herds. Muhammad willy-nilly made decisions of great importance, changed his mind, and rescinded earlier ones just as Allah was doing with his abrogating and abrogated verses. Our listeners should not be surprised since they should know by now that Muhammad, Gabriel, Allah, and Satan are one and the same character. Muhammad himself, while the others are his puppets in disguise. Sahih Muslim 5248 narrated by Maimuna. One morning, Allah's Messenger was silent with grief. Maimuna said, Allah's Messenger, I find a change in your mood today. Allah's Messenger said, Gabriel had promised me that he would meet me last night, but he did not meet me. By Allah, he never broke his promises, and Allah's Messenger spent the day in this sad mood. Then it occurred to him that there had been a puppy under his cot. He gave an order, and it was turned out. He then took some water in his hand and sprinkled it on the place. When it was evening, Gabriel met him and he said to him, You promised me that you would meet me the previous night. He said, Yes, but we do not enter a house in which there is a dog or a picture. So the very next morning, he commanded the dogs to be killed. He announced that the dog kept for the orchards should also be killed but he spared the dog used for the protection of extensive fields or big gardens. 
It is on such incredible stupidities and mendacities do the followers of Muhammad hang their logic and intellect. That is why most Muhammadans do not own dogs as pets and actually shrink from them. Al-Tirmidhi 4102 and Sunan Abu Dawud Hadith 2839 narrated by Abdullah ibn Mughaffal. The Prophet said, Were dogs not a species of creature, I should command that they all be killed, but kill every pure black one. Sunan Abu Dawood 2840 narrated by Jabir in Abdullah. The Prophet of Allah ordered to kill dogs. And we were even killing a dog which a woman brought with her from the desert. Afterwards, he forbade to kill them, saying, confine yourselves to the type which is black. Sunan Abu Dawood 5084 narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah. The Prophet said, when you hear the barking of dogs and the braying of asses at night, Seek refuge in Allah, for they see which you do not see. That is, they see the devil. Sahih Bukhari 1.493, narrated by Aisha. The things which annul prayer were mentioned before me, and those were a dog, a donkey, and a woman. I said, you have compared us women to donkeys and dogs. Sahih Bukhari 1.498, narrated by Aisha. It is not good that you people have made us women equal to dogs and donkeys. No doubt, I saw Allah's Apostle praying while I used to lie between him and the Qibla. And when he wanted to prostrate, I pushed my legs and I withdrew them. Even an unlearned teenager such as Aisha was, realized to what level of degradation womanhood was reduced to by Muhammad and his male followers even unto today's 21st century. 1400 years of human progress have not been able to dent the thick armor of total and abysmal stupidity that is the demonic cult of Muhammad and Islam. Sahih al-Bukhari 4.540 narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar. Allah's apostle ordered that dogs should be killed. Al-Muwatta hadith 20.90 animals that someone in ihram can kill. Yahya related to me from Malik from Abdullah ibn Dinar from Abdullah ibn Umar, that the Messenger of Allah said, there are five kinds of animals which it is not wrong for someone in Ihram to kill. Scorpions, rats and mice, crows, kites and wild dogs. Only by studying Muhammad himself and hence his psychological profile can one understand his hatreds, anger, jealousy, pomposity, mendacity and other unsavory characteristics of his. They are all caused by his pathological narcissism. Muhammad hated all creatures, human or animal, that exhibit happiness, joy, fidelity, love, affection, and loyalty. These are the very attributes of dogs. As we all know by now, he was lacking in all these characteristics. So do his cloned believing followers, the joyless, hate-mongering, living dead. That is exactly why fundamentalist Muhammadan Muslims have no dogs as pets, as well as show exactly the same depraved lack of compassion or mercy towards any and all humans who do not follow their creed. That is why believing Muhammadan Muslims would rather die slaughtering unarmed and defenseless civilians. The so-called unbelieving kuffar, for the sake of Allah, fi sabilillah, in expectation of eternal sensual and sexual pleasures in Muhammad's whorehouse version of paradise than enjoying life on earth. I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you have noticed that I have quoted to you from Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Al-Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, and Al-Muwatta Hadiths with different narrators, but nonetheless, our Muhammadan adversaries will tell you that this or that hadith is a lie is weak or unacceptable to Sunni Muhammadan scholars or to Shi'i ones or to both. As you have also found out by now from their comments, their videos and their arguments with you that they must remain in a permanent state of denial otherwise they would have to throw away the shackles of their cult belief system or apostatize. I'm sure that by now you and you alone have the knowledge and the right to determine the veracity or lack thereof in our chapters.